Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a beauty haul. Um, if my voice sounds a bit funny, it's because I'm currently just a little bit ill at the moment, so ignore that. But before we get started, hi, I'm Tash. I am from It's Simply Beauty here on YouTube. Um, and today I am entering the Daily Mix Beauty Bootcamp for 2014. Woohoo! So I'm going to be doing this regardless of my croaky voice and sounding horrible. I'm going to be doing this video for you today. So I have been shopping over the last few weeks. Some of these are repurchased, some of these are new products. And I also have a few face masks and a makeup removal. So let's get cracking. So first of all, I'm going to start off with makeup removal and it's this L'Oreal Micellar Water. I have already used this before and so this is a repurchase. I absolutely loved it. I usually am a makeup wipe type person just because I find them easier to remove makeup before cleansing and all that sort of stuff. But I bought Bioderma a few months ago, ran out of it and because it's so hard to get over to the UK I thought I would pick up this and I fell in love with it. So I picked it up again because I ran out of makeup wipes. So I bought this and I absolutely love it. It gets rid of everything within two cotton pads. So I find that a massive yes for when it's in the night and you're a bit lazy and you need to take your makeup off. This is the easiest thing to get rid of makeup. Then on to three masks. Now these are ones that I picked up in Tesco's, would you believe it? Um, these are the Quick Fix Facials. And I have one here, which is the Mega Moisture Gel Mask Dry and Thirsty Skin. I do suffer with combination oily skin so I do tend to get a few dry patches and I usually tend to use this on my t-zone and around my nose area which is yes is where I get dry and yes where I get oily um, but I find it really hydrates my skin it stops me from getting dryness around my nose and it really works and it's only a fiver as well which is great and I also have hit this one here which is the calming clay mask red and sensitive skin I use this on any blemishes that I may have that are quite red and I want to kind of get rid of the redness on my face and I use this and it helps get rid of any redness on my face. I do suffer with um, red like cheek areas here. It hasn't gone down completely but when they're really really bad and I kind of want to minimise the redness on my face I just whack this on and it really works. And then also have this anti-blemish mask which is for oily and spot prone skin. This is absolutely amazing. I use this pretty much probably at four times a week. I do tend to suffer with a lot of random breakouts due to obviously hormonals and obviously other stuff and this really does tend to help fight them bad breakouts before they appear and I literally just use this because it's really really nice and it really sorts my skin out from getting any massive massive breakouts. Then on to what are my new repurchases. I bought the L'Oreal Lumi Magic Base. I absolutely love this. This is a dupe for the Max Studio Fix. It's absolutely amazing. It gives you the most dewiest skin ever. I love mixing this with foundations and it is just probably the best primer that I have found. Works well with my skin and is a really nice um, like feel on the skin. It's not silicone-y, it's quite light um, and it's just really amazing. I absolutely love it. Then for foundation, it's another repurchase. It is the L'Oreal foundation, which is the True Match Super Blendable, and I am in the shade R1.C1 Ivory Rose or Rose Ivory. Absolutely love this. It's like my, I th think, third bottle of this now. Um, and I absolutely love it. I use this for nights out and it stays on my skin all day. Blends well, goes well really with dry skin, like on my nose. It doesn't really cling to it or anything. Matches my skin and texture, which obviously it says in the bottle, and I absolutely love it. This is probably one of my go-to foundations. Probably my favourite foundation out of anything that I've tried. Then I have this blush from Topshop. Absolutely love Topshop cream blushes. I have two of these, I believe. Um, this one is Flush. This is a really nice hot pink colour, which is perfect for like some time. Um, these are so, so pigmented, as you can see and they just blend out so nicely as well which you'll be able to see there and it goes really well with pale skin as well which was I was a bit worried about when I purchased this I was kind of thinking okay have I made a really bad decision because I'm so pale is it going to look really horrible on me but I think it's going to look quite well on my skin and with my hair colour as well I think it's going to look gorgeous then for brows it's this Soap and Glory Archery Brow Tint and Precision Shaping Pencil 
Now normally I am a powder girl, I only use eyeshadows for my brows, but at the moment I have been getting into properly filling them in, making them look more bold, and just kind of trying out new things with my brows. And as you can see, it actually makes them look quite natural. I do have naturally thin brows. Well, not naturally from me being stupid and over plucking them over the last like seven years. But I really, really like this. You have one end, which is a waxy pencil color, which is perfect for blondes. It's that real nice ashy tone, like color. And then you have a felt tip sort of thing, which you can do loads of little strokes, which make it look like as if there's hair there and appears really, really natural. So I really, really like this. Then I have two mascaras, one that I'm currently wearing on my lashes now, which you probably won't be able to tell, but it's the L'Oreal Mega Volume Miss Manga Mascara. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love this mascara. It makes my lashes look so nice and long. It's got a really nice cone point end to it, which I think is really nice because you can properly get into them like inner corner like lashes and outer corner lashes to really fan them out if you want to. And this is perfect for getting the bottom lashes. When I first tried this, I had a really big struggle with trying to get into the like like bottom lashes. But I found that if you really do take quite a lot of the product off by putting more on your top lashes and then putting it on the bottom lashes, it makes your bottom lashes look amazing. So I absolutely love that. And then one is one that I haven't actually tried because I've only literally got it this week, but obviously being due to being ill, I haven't been able to try it properly. This is the Maybelline Big Eyes, and this is the one with the two-sided end brush. So you have a big thick one at the top, which is for your upper lashes. And then you have a smaller brush, which is for your bottom lashes. And the small one is literally tiny, like so teeny tiny, which would be perfect for getting into your bottom lashes and even getting in for like your proper inner corner lashes as well. So that is going to be good. So there you have it. That's all the products that I have bought over the last few weeks. Some repurchases, some new purchases. But yeah, all in all, great products. And hopefully maybe some of you have tried these. And yeah. So I'm going to go, I hope you like this video, and be sure to check out my YouTube channel, and I will see you all soon. Bye guys.